What's going on, my peoples? We are here, chilling on this beautiful Sunday morning, man. I promised um somebody that I was gonna drop this video before eight o'clock, before eight a.m. So here we go. Um, in today's video, we're gonna talk about uh, what to expect as a new food service driver, as a new U.S. food driver, or just new coming into the game. Um, what's the expectation, and all of that, and the third, right? Just basically what to expect um, starting out as a new driver, right? So first of all, the first thing I want to say, <clears throat> one of the things that you can expect is um for this, it's going to be one of the hardest jobs you ever do, ever did, ever done, right? But before I get into it, let me just tell you, let me tell you this, right? Every day is going to be easier every day is going to get better and if you just stick it through this this hard job is going to become a piece of cake right so you're starting out as a new driver first thing first um they're going to set you up on orientation and stuff like that and you know you do all the protocols do all the paperwork and stuff all the necessaries you know all the um corporate safety stuff that you got to do right then after you do that um they're gonna sign you up with a trainer right and um you basically is going to be following your trainer schedule now <clears throat> there are different type of trainers everybody have a different method now let me tell you how i do it right um when i train somebody you know everybody do it different i believe in hands-on i believe in hands-on training meaning that if i'm training somebody like everything i do they're gonna be doing it because at the end of the day they're gonna be doing it you know what i mean so i believe that i'm not gonna babysit meaning that you know say i, I get somebody to train i'm gonna um i'm gonna give them the scanner right away first day i'm giving them the scanner uh showing them how to scan uh stack and roll stuff like that and i'm um, showing them how we do things over here at u.s food maybe other companies do it differently right now you might get other trainers um that believe that you need to um just basically push the hand trucks on the first couple of the days before they give you a scanner you know um i think people are more like catch on more quicker so i'm not gonna do all that slow stuff right so you know um some jobs some food service jobs they have uh they have a mandatory time where guys get trained uh, you know, some food service companies have a four-week minimum that you need to be trained for. Some have a two-week minimum. Um, my thing is I try to train guys as quick as possible so they can... Um, it's not rocket science to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, the hardest part about this job to me is just learning the different system, learning different computers, um, learning how to do credits, uh, learning how to do um, adjustments, pickups, stuff like that. You know, um, you should know how to drive. Uh, you should know how to deal with the um, Omni tracks and stuff like that. So, I don't think um, you should expect to come into a food service job for somebody to teach you how to drive. Um, that's one of the first thing I tell guys, man. I'm like, yo, I'm not here to teach you how to drive. I'm here to teach you how to do the work. You know what I'm saying? So, if you go, that being said, if you go with a trainer that um, don't really want you to drive like that, don't get offended because. Um, they're not there to teach you how to drive but that being said you still you should be driving and doing everything you should be doing everything right let me tell you something when you're in training right like don't get offended when a trainer makes you do everything because you're going to be doing it anyway you should want to do everything while you have somebody there to um guide you you should not want to um you should not want to be babysit meaning that you should not want to do like like tell, tell, if you got an idea of what you're doing tell your trainer get out of the way let you do the job go sit down in the truck man i'm um, just i'll call you if i need help you you want to do that i'm telling you don't be that guy that complains that um you know the trainer don't want to do nothing this that and the third because at the end of the day you're gonna have to do it by yourself so you want to see that you can do it by yourself i'm gonna tell you why right now right because remember once you're out there training it's two people in the trailer right so it's easy it's easy when you got somebody else 
Now, when you get ready to go out on your own, it's going to be a rude awakening. Um, you're going to have to move that much faster and um, just expect a lot of hard work, man. Um, one, one of the advice I can give guys when they just go out on their own is um, hydrate. Bring a lot of water, Gatorade, whatever you need to do because... Um, you're gonna be running, man. You're gonna be running. And um, one of the things you can expect um, when you just start out as a food service driver, expect a lot of customers, they're gonna be trying you. Meaning that um, they're gonna be telling you stuff that's just not true. They're gonna be telling you, oh, um, you guys are supposed to stack. Oh, the other drivers, um, they stack this flour for me. Oh, um, you gotta put it up on the shelf. That's where you got to know your company's policy on stuff like that, right? Don't let no customers hold you up. You're going to run into a lot of customers that they take forever to check the product. Um, one of the ways you can um, combat that is one of the ways I do it is um, when I used to do schools. Like, for instance, if you guys um, go to, like, U.S. Foods, like the one where I work at, <clears throat> nine, out of nine, nine out of ten times you're going to be doing schools, right? Now these cafeteria ladies shout out to them on um, their feeding our kids god bless them but <clears throat> they're notorious for holding up the drivers one of the ways you can combat that is by you see somebody always take advantage of you um taking forever to check your product um stop you every time before you go in the freezer um acting like you have all day at that school just just say excuse me miss lady um you know you're holding up the other um I'm here to make your delivery on time every day. And um, you're holding up the other school. Um, I wanna make on time deliveries to them too. Or if you don't if you don't feel comfortable talking like that, just get, get a supervisor involved that will help you through the um, problem. And when I say that will help you through the problem because you can't just call any on any and any supervisor. But you should learn how to talk to people. It's not disrespect, it's just um, talking to people in a respectful way. You gotta learn how to talk out there. A lot of people gonna um, take advantage of you. When you come into the game, um, your expectation should be to get the worst routes. You're gonna get the worst routes. You're at the bottom of the list, you're gonna get the worst route. Um, I wouldn't worry about it, it's just gonna be better one day. But for right now, you're just, you're at the bottom um, to the company. You're, you're 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 at the bottom, so you're gonna get treated like that. Um, unless you're in chain account, usually um, guys that are in chain chain account or drop yards, you're hired for a particular route. Um, guys that are in like a big DC, they're like you're hired, and you're just gonna be on the bottom because um, it goes by a seniority list, right? Um, another thing that you're gonna expect, man, expect for a lot of veterans um not to like you. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, a lot of guys, they don't like new guys, man. Um, the majority of guys like new guys, but they're not willing to help new guys. They're jealous of new guys. They don't want you to make money. Um, and the reason, I always wonder why. You get what I'm saying? They're always worried about your route instead of worried about their route. But you know what? One of the things I can tell you is to um, ignore the negativity, man, and just keep pushing because you got to understand one day you're not going to be new no more right um expect to be late expect to work some late days because you're just not seasoned enough to do the job so um you probably run a 10 hour route in like 12 hours or 13 hours i would not worry about that just keep going because at the end of the day you're new right nobody expect you to do a 10 hour route in 10 hours or a 10 hour route in nine hours right <clears throat> you're still a puppy right so you gotta understand, as a new food service driver, just um, just expect the worst, right? But the worst is gonna lead into something good. Um, when it when it comes to money, right? You're still gonna make money as a new driver. The reason why you're gonna make money because you're gonna work a lot of hours, right? Because you're just not gonna be that quick. But in time, learn how to be efficient. Once you learn how to be efficient, that's where you're gonna get more money, right? And the name of the game is um, it's all about the money, right? So, you still gonna make money, like it ain't funny, especially um, if you go to chain account. Um, but over time, learn on your, um, learn, try to work on your accuracy, try to learn on your, um, your accuracy, your speed, 
um, and your people skill, customer service, and stuff like that, and that just help you along the way. Um, equipment wise, man, um, when you're new to the game, um, unless your company have all brand new fleets, expect to get the worst trucks. Like you won't get the worst trucks, honestly. Um, you're not gonna, you're not getting a 2021 brand new Freightliner, Mercedes, Benz airline engine you're just not getting it <laughs> you know what i mean but that's not a problem because one day you're gonna get it that's what i'm saying